What's going on guys? Back here with another video for you. Uh, doing the PlayStation 4 collection video. Um, so starting it off with a good RPG that came out last year. Uh, Final Fantasy 15 Deluxe Edition. I'm stuck on a boss fight, uh, Deadeye, if you've played this game. It's really not that hard of a boss, but I just can't manage to do it, so that's where I'm stuck on it. Uh, Sleeping Dogs, I really enjoyed this last generation. This is the nice one with the, um, got like a nice art book and stuff. Got this actually on sale on Square Enix's website for like 10 bucks, so couldn't beat that. Uh, Homefront, a lot of people don't like this series. I love the first one. I haven't played this this one too much, but the little bit I played, I thought it was enjoyable. I don't think it was the best, but it's definitely enjoyable if you can find it for five bucks. Um, here's a game, Valkyria Chronicles. Remasters. This was on the PS3. Uh, really awesome. I don't ever really care about steel books, but that's just a sweet steel book. Um, if you can find this, I definitely recommend picking it up. It's not rare, but I definitely haven't seen it in stores since it came out. So, yeah. Um, now, here's a series that most people got into with the third game. I'm a fan of the series. Uh, the first one I've never actually beaten. Um, it's kind of hard to go back and play. If you've played it after playing the second and third one, it's really hard to go back and play. I started on the second one, then I got the first one, couldn't get into it. I wanted to, um, and then the third one. So I beat the second one two or three times, and I've beaten this one about one and a half times. I'm halfway through my second playthrough. Really awesome game, and um, for the PlayStation... I don't know about the Xbox, but these are the DLCs. You can get them in like a physical package. They come with the point cards. So, pretty sweet. Happy to have these. We got Uncharted Nathan Drake's Collection. Pretty good game collection. Um, you can get them all. You can get this really cheap, or you can get them really all cheap on the PlayStation 3, which I obviously have as well. Uh, Ratchet and Clank. The graphics in this game are beautiful, they really are, I mean, even though it's animated, they still really look very good. Uh, Bloodborne, haven't beaten it yet, really tough game, it's basically Demon's Souls, just PlayStation's version. I mean, it's the same people, but it's exclusive to PlayStation. Uh, Dragon Quest Builders, this was on PS3, Vita, and PS4, and PC, I believe. I'd love it on the Switch, That would be this would be a great game on the Switch. Really awesome game, though. Mad Max, you can get this really cheap. Um, if you can get it cheap, I'd say it's worth a playthrough. Uh, GTA 5, I don't really need to say much about that. That hasn't already been said. Mac, really awesome game. Um, I would say this is definitely worth picking up if you can get it for about 10 bucks or cheaper. Uh, really fun. The hard difficulty on this is very difficult. Um, it really is a tough game, but it's very enjoyable if you play it on the hardest difficulty. I normally don't do that, but for that I wanted to for whatever reason. Got this at Goodwill for five bucks um, the year after it had come out. Um, really awesome game. This is still really fun to play to this day, Plants vs. Zombies. I'd like to get the second one, but I feel like they couldn't have changed that much to justify buying the second one, so people still play this on the first one online still. Let's see here. Uh, this is probably going to be a two-part video. Um, let me get The Last Guardian. I'm probably three quarters of the way through. I'd say I'm about 20 hours or so into it. Maybe maybe 15. 15 to 20. But it's definitely a really good game. I'm enjoying it. You gotta have some serious patience to play this game though. That is for sure. Uh, I don't know if they developed the controls terribly or if since he's supposed to be like a dog or a puppy, he's stupid and he doesn't want to listen to you. I don't know which is the latter. Uh, or it could be both, I'm really not sure, but you really need to have some patience to play this game. Good game though, very good, but need patience. Um, got this really cheap, like 12 bucks I think, new at Best Buy. Um, haven't played it yet. Um, I'm kind of open worlded out this generation, like everything's so open world. And I don't know, I kind of just need to take a break from it. So now I'm kind of on like an RPG kick say uh, Far Cry 4 I did enjoy this but not as much as 3 and number 1 so 2 I didn't like 4 was kind of a meh for me 3 was awesome Primal looks really dope 
and two, I just, I really didn't like it. Um, Thief, really good game. Um, I got into this series after I got into Dishonored, which Dishonored is based after the Thief series. Uh, Mafia 3 got this for Christmas. Um, really good game. I'm probably, I don't know, uh, almost done. Like a few, probably four more hours and I'll have finished the game. It's very repetitive. Like I said, I'm just kind of burnt out on the open world games. God of War 3, really good, get, really good remaster. Um, if you were a 360 person, you jump ship. Uh, definitely go ahead and pick this up if you can. Super cheap, 10 bucks. Um, this will probably be hard to come by in the future. Not as hard as the original print of this, but Wild Guns Reloaded. Really good game. Um, can't recommend it enough. Let's see. Got a few more in this stack. Uh, Metro Redux. I love both these games. You can, again, you can get this for super cheap, under 20 bucks. Can't recommend that enough either. Destiny. Um, good. This came with my console. It's, I have the white PlayStation 4. Um, only good if you really have some dedicated friends who are going to play it with you. But other than that, not worth picking up in my opinion. Uh, Arcania, haven't played this yet. It's an uh, older PC RPG that came to the consoles. I just know that I never saw it very much, so I picked it up. Um, Assault Suit Leonis. I believe this was a Saturn Japanese exclusive, and then it eventually found its way to the PlayStation 4. Uh, Killzone Shadowfall. I love this game. This is still probably one of the most beautiful looking games to date on the PS4. Uh, the graphics quality is amazing, and I beat it on the hardest difficulty. Got the trophy to prove it. Uh, Shadow of Mordor, awesome game. Can't wait for War of Mordor or Shadow of War, one of the two. It's the sequel, I forget what it's called. Drive Club, fucking terrible game. Don't buy this. Uh, Phantom Pain, loved it. Probably spent a good 40 to 50 hours in this game. I did every single mission you could do. Um, no spoilers, but the ending and with the boy, I forget what his name is. I'm pretty sure they had hinted that that is Ocelot that you meet in the game. And they, there was definitely chunks of the game missing from it because they didn't let Kojima finish his game. And the last one for part one of this video is uh, a surprisingly good game that not a lot of people gave, ch gave a chance. And that is uh, Until Dawn. Really cool game. Um, it's different. I like to get games that are different and not the same as every other game, like Far Cries and you know all that stuff that just kept pumped out every year. Like this was something different. It's a survival horror game where you get to make lots of choices and uh, your choices affect the ending and just affect all these different things. And I've only played through it once so far. Uh, to be honest with you, I think a few months ago there was rumors that there was a standalone Until Dawn, but there was also rumors that they might patch VR for this, or it might already be patched in, I don't know. So that would be a good excuse to go through a second playthrough on this. Um, but yeah, definitely a cool game, also super cheap. So stay tuned for uh, part two of this, it'll be up the following week, um, and yeah. So this is part one of my PlayStation 4 collection. I still have some more big box stuff that I wanted to save for the second video. So stay tuned for that. Peace out for now. Until next time.